All right, I'm going to show you how to do some linear regression on the Casio FX 300 ES. If you have an ES Plus or a different model that's similar, it'll also work the same way. So let's go to mode, and we're going to select stat number two. And we're going to select number two, A plus BX. That's linear regression. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that if you're familiar with slope-intercept form, M is a slope and B is the intercept. Well, in statistical analysis, we often use a for the intercept and B for the slope. You notice B is multiplying X. So we're going to use A plus BX. So keep in mind that A is the intercept, B is the slope. So let's select two and we're going to use the VCR example on page 724 of the book and in the first example in your note sheet. So you have an X and a Y column. I'm going to enter in the values for X, enter each value in and then hit equal after each one. And this is really exciting, you know, watching me enter in numbers. No more exciting than classes usually. So we have five values for x. We're going to move to the y, and we're going to enter those corresponding values of y starting with 9.5 and going down. In case you're not watching this from Lapidus High School, this is a list of VCRs owned in the x column in the millions and VHS tapes sold in millions in the y column. I know, very, very current example. So now that you have all these numbers in, what are you going to do? We're going to clear the screen and we're going to press shift and stat. Now, we're going to go to reg number seven. And you're presented with these options. Now remember, number one A, if you press A, that will give you the intercept of the least squares regression line, the best fit line. Two will give you the slope of that best fit line. R will give you the correlation coefficient x hat will give you the corresponding x hat value for any value of y and y hat will give you the corresponding y value, predicted y value for any value of x. So you press 1, press A, you'll see what the intercept is, negative 15, which means if no VCRs were sold or owned by anybody, we'd have negative 15 million tapes sold. That obviously doesn't make much sense. Now if you want to see the slope, let's go back to reg, hit 2 for B. And now our slope is 2.82. Now to interpret that slope, that means for every additional million VCR households, we expect or we predict an increase of 2.82 million VHS tapes sold. All right, let's now try some of these other numbers. R is the correlation coefficient. And this is, if you have a scatter plot, you'll see that it's a very strongly positive correlation between VCR households and VHS tapes sold, R is about 0.993. The last thing I want to show you is Y hat. And this is very useful because what you'll you do in linear regression is you're going to try to predict a Y value, Y hat, for any input of X. So if we select Y hat, you have to put in a value of X. Now in this calculator, you're going to put it in the front. So if I put in 20, I'm wondering, if I have 20 million households with VCRs, how many videotapes do I predict to sell? So 20 Y hat, and you'll see that I would expect to sell about 41.33. Now what you can also do is just show that it works. If we put in zero, that should give us the Y intercept of negative 15.1. So now you know how to do some basic linear regression on your Casio calculator.